the login hierarchy under system so we'll do edit system login if I do set space question mark you can see that I have the option for a message and this is the system login message so the, first we're going to show you how to create the message banner so we'll do the option set message and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the message I'm going to do back slash n and what the backslash n does is creates a line break and I'll show you this by doing if I just put in the message first if I do set message and then this and then add in our message this is where the message banner goes I'm going to show you before I use the line break and then after Let's go ahead and commit the change. And now I'm going to bring up Putty and, and log in and show you where this banner shows up, the message banner. If I go ahead and now try to log in to the router, I'll log in with Aaron. Log in as Aaron because he's our friend. And you can see once I enter his name, and hit enter you would see that it, it says this is where the message banner goes so now let me show you what that looks like once I create our add-in our line breaks so I'm going to put three line breaks on the front before the message and then also three line breaks on the end and now let's go ahead and SSH back into the router and see what happens so I'm going to get back into the router 192.168.1.1 We'll log in as Aaron. And now what we can see is that we have our spaces that we created using the line breaks. So what you use the spaces for are the four I'm sorry, the backslash n so you can create some distance and make your banners more readable. Because when we first created our banner without the line breaks, it was all a little clustered together closely and hard to read. So this gives us a little space between our messages and makes it more readable. So that's where the message banner is placed. Let's go ahead and show you where to add your or where your announcement banner is placed. So we're under edit system login. If I do a set space question mark, we can see that we also have an announcement banner or message that I can create. The description for this is the system announcement message and it kind of tells us already where it's going to be. It says it's displayed after the login or after login. So if I do set announcement, then I'll create our simple understanding, simple to understand announcement. We'll just say this is where the announcement Oh, sorry about that. If you heard that, it was pretty loud. I apologize. Our putty connection just ended. Sorry about that. Back to our announcement. We'll do this is where the announcement banner goes.
before we'll show you before and after we create our line breaks we'll do a commit then I'm going to putty back in so now let's get back into our router 192.168.1.1 We'll log in as Aaron. This time we'll log in completely. So we see where the message banner is right there. So now if I log in, we can see that if we don't put any line breaks, it, it shows up on the same line as when we log in to the router. Another thing I guess I should have pointed out to you when we did the user access, the basic user access part is when I log in as Aaron, that's what shows up under the router before the router name it says Aaron at Juniper so Aaron is the obviously the user that we're logged in as and Juniper is the router name so without line breaks this looks kinda clustered we have everything on the same line so obviously that's why we want to create some space between our banners and our regular messages and we do that with the forward slash n. So we'll do forward slash n, we'll just do three before and three after. And then we'll go ahead and try to putty back in. This time we'll log in as Bob. We feel sorry for him. He's been left out. So let's go ahead and put in his password. And then we'll show you what the line break does with the announcement placement of the, the announcement banner. What we can see now is that we have some spaces before and after our our banner so again this makes it a little more readable and that's exactly what we want to create for our users and for administrators for everybody who logs in we want to make this easy to read and understand so to review exactly what we did we just do a show under the edit system login hierarchy we see that we have our announcement banner and then our message banner that was the last thing we did in this lab the first thing we did was we created two users one user named Aaron which was under our super user class and we also created another user named Bob under the operator class. We showed you the one of the differences between them. One of the biggest differences is obviously the super user can access configuration mode, whereas the operator does not have access into configuration mode. So this is Junos Configuration Basics Lab 1. In this lab we showed you basic user access and banner configuration. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.